Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Unity of Command. Before we get started, I'd like to share news that's both good for you and me. It's good for you and that it avoids confusion, and it's good for me because it avoids frustration, and that is that I can finally capture my mouse cursor properly. In my first recording session, which was the first five episodes of this series, those were all recorded at the same time, so they shared the same issue, I had to make a compromise with the way that I was capturing the game. I had to do some workarounds to capture the game properly in a way that was viewable and playable. And with that way that I was capturing the game, my mouse was being displaced. So if I was pointing at this tank right now, rather than the mouse cursor showing where it should, it would show somewhere over here. So if I was pointing at something and saying, okay, we need to do something over here, you, you would see me going like this. And it would just cause you guys to be all confused. So to avoid that confusion, I turn the mouse cursor off. But unfortunately, I forgot from time to time during that series and ended up pointing at things and going, I'm going to do something here, I'm going to do something here, and just forgot that you guys couldn't see my mouse cursor, which is frustrating for me because I really like to point things out in a strategy game like this. I think it's pretty important that you guys know what I'm thinking and where I'm talking about. I can point out objectives, so it saves me a lot of hassle and it allows you guys to follow along with what I'm doing a lot easier. All right, so now that I got that out of the way, let's uh, jump right back into the action. And we are done with the first turn, so all we have to do is hit and turn, and we'll move on to the next one. All right, so the enemy is moving to the various objectives, trying to cover them. So we have to capture this objective down here by turn two, if I remember correctly. And then there were a number that we had to uh, capture by turn three. Okay, we have some fighting over the river. Or is there not a river there? I don't think there's a river there, actually. We can see for sure once the turn starts. Hmm, that tank came across. I mean, I guess that's good for the enemy because they're trying to stop me from getting that bridge and just be able to move freely. Now, we really don't need to capture this town and the town up above because those are not our objectives. We're more concerned about the south here. Okay, and some entrenchment there. Okay, it's our turn. We get our air attack back. And we do have a unit that we can uh, deploy. Okay, it deploys there. I don't want to deploy that just yet, so... We'll hold off on that. So just to see really quickly, so if we look at the terrain, so yeah, there is not a river here, so that's going to be our one avenue through. And then our objectives. So yeah, turn two, we have to capture this, and then a lot of these other places are turn three, so these two. This one's going to be challenging. I'm going to have to move these tanks probably out now if I have any chance whatsoever of capturing them by turn three, and I even then I don't think I'd be able to pull it off. And then over here, we have turn four, both of these, and then this is turn five. So this is the last one we have to capture, so we could bypass it and ignore it for the time being. But yeah, if you're going to capture these objectives like this and get them done in the time span that they want to, you really just have to move your panzers and ignore a lot of these enemies you leave behind and let the infantry mop them up, which, you know, that, I think that is part of the strategy and what is expected of you. So, we're going to try it. But we've almost encircled these units. So, alright, well. I think we start in the south, because the south is going to be more interesting for me. So, I think uh, this guy's going to have a zone of control that's going to be bothersome. It's going to stop a lot of my tanks from moving. Like, this guy here, he can move, and these tanks can move across this bridge. But these two tanks are going to be slowed down. They're not affected by the zone of control right now because they started in that zone of control. But if they try and move out of it, they'll be affected. So I think we have to hit this guy and try and weaken him now uh, so that we can get past him. So one of these panzers is going to have to try and take him out. It looks like uh, losses are going to be in our favor pretty dramatically as a matter of fact we may be able to just wipe this guy out entirely and even get an overrun so let's go ahead and go for that 
We got that overrun. So we get another attack. But honestly, we may want to use it for movement. I have to consider my supply lines, though. So we're going to hold on that action. But that was pretty important to getting our, our panzers moving here. Because this guy can now freely move without having to really do anything there. We could do it anyway to kill the tank to help out our infantry. Because then we're not going to encounter anything over here when we start to move away. So that's perfectly acceptable. Now, I think the objective... Yeah, is in this spot. So we have to kill this infantry. That's the thing that matters to us. The tanks are just kind of secondary concerns. It will allow my infantry and other things to move past because this is still... Well, it's not exerting a zone of control. Probably because he's cut off from supply, maybe? Well, the important thing here, though, is that my tanks should be able to kill these guys fairly easily. And uh, I think this, this is going to be captured fairly easily. So, uh... Let's go ahead and we'll just click on this guy again you know the odds here we should kill him oops okay we didn't get the overrun but that's fine we can now move freely i'm not going to do the movement until a, a little later when it matters for the infantry i may do it but uh other things i'm not so sure so here again i figure we might as well kill this guy because what, what else are we going to do unless we want to move up here and help out and you know, honestly, that is actually a pretty valid point. We could move up there and help out. So I'm going to hold off on these panzers because I didn't really think about that. Because they could move up and try and murder these guys. And this is an objective we have to get by turn three. So that is a concern. Now, if I do that, I am weakening my drive to this. Because these guys could kill and then push on. But what is their, what is their movement like in that direction? Not fantastic. We could move here and kind of go that way, although the woods would slow us down. Hmm. I almost feel like I have to capture this rail line, though, to help out this push in this direction, because if I don't, uh, it's going to be tough. So maybe we would move up now to the middle here which I think is fairly important. This guy, I think I'm just going to ignore. Like, I may have one of my infantry wipe him out. So they're only going to be able to move so far anyway. Um, and again, we should ignore the north here. This is somewhat of a concern because there's no bridge here at all, which is going to slow me down. We probably could capture this rail line if we go to extra movement. We wouldn't have control of the whole rail line, which is, is pretty important. But we could get started on that. Alright, uh, one thing I want to look at, though, before I do that, is zones of control. This guy's really problematic from a zone of control standpoint because I could kill him probably pretty easily if I moved a panzer up to deal with him. The problem with that is his zone of control would kill my momentum. We could, uh, unfortunately, the wood stops that and we can't move far enough here. So that's a, this is going to be a tough nut to crack uh, without slowing my drive down too much. And the infantry, I don't think, is going to be able to manage it. But yeah, I really need to capture this rail line if I can, but I don't know if I can pull that off easily. Let's, uh, let's move here, because this, our movement is not so slow. And I want to see what we may be able to pull off with movement here. So, actually, let's move the guys that are in the back. So that's about as far as you're probably going to realistically move anyway. And then we'll attack the infantry here. How powerful is this infantry? Because it is motorized. Okay, it's only three, so we still have an advantage there. Yeah. There we go. Now that unit's weakened, so it no longer has zone of control, which is good for us. There is a bridge here, which we probably want to attempt to capture. Unfortunately, that unit is in my way. So maybe we use the security unit to kill this unit because we could do that or not 
No, it was worth a try. You know, security units don't have a lot of attack. So, they're going to be much more valuable wiping out a unit like this that's in my way. Yeah, there we go. Take care of that. We do want to get to that bridge, but the tank is very much in my way. And as a result, the zone of control here is going to stop me from being able to actually get to the bridge without leapfrogging. I could get there. I'd have to leapfrog over other units to do it, though. So, who can get there? Looks like you can. And then these two guys may be able to leapfrog to get to the bridge. And then we could help out attacking across the bridge here. So, I do think that's a viable move. So, uh, which one was it? It was this guy. So, we'll move here. This zone of control may still be a problem. So we may have to do extra leapfrogging, but we can use this guy to do that. Oh, interesting. I don't take any casualties with this attack. Alright. You say so. Okay. So, as I thought, the other zone of control is going to stop me. So we're going to go ahead and move up here. And if we have good attack ratings like this, I'm going to go ahead and hit this guy. Okay, now he's weakened, so he doesn't even have zone of control, so we don't really have to worry about that. Okay, now we can get in there. Maybe this guy wouldn't have been able to get there anyway. We really only have one unit that can get in there where we want him to. All right, let's move the security guy just to get him out of the way. And we can gain some ground that way. We want to move him up in the face of this guy. I don't think it's necessary. Here we go. Get our our control here, which is going to help, I think, with uh, supply. Okay. It's going to be this guy that's going to be taking the bridge. Uh, Fubi attack here is going to be kind of up in the air. I'll make the move because it's definitely one we want to do. Um, ideally we'd attack here, but that's not a good odds for us yet. That's probably because we're attacking over a bridge. So we'll hold on the attack, but I think that's a good move for us. We could kill this cavalry to help us get across. I'm not sure with this infantry what would be the better move, like moving up here and killing this tank, and just getting it out of the way and then moving up to follow, or moving out this way and gaining more ground. Because we could use our extra extra point here to like... No, oh, actually, we wouldn't move that far with that extra point because of the way the train is. What is weather looking like? Uh, we don't have any that I see on the map. So, not really a concern. Alright, well, definitely we're going to want elite units to get up in the face here and try and do what damage they can. And with zones of control, anyone that moves in here is going to get stopped anyway, so... We have to uh, consider that this is going to be, like, the only attack we could pull off. Oh, wait, there's a river there, isn't there? Okay. Where did I end up building that bridge? I did build one, did I not? Well, there's a bridge here, so killing this cavalry is actually really important now. Okay, so I'm going to try and do that. I think we start with this attack here. Even though this guy's right in front of the bridge and it would have the best movement as a result. Uh, he would not get Zona controlled. Oh, okay, the cavalry doesn't have Zona control here. We could move up and attack here. Alright. Do that. Um, this is not really great odds for us. But, holy crap, why did we lose that many... Uh, I guess it was attack across the river did that to us, but... That's a lot of casualties, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, it's very possible we won't be able to drive this guy back like I want to. Which would be uh, pretty bad. This is going to be our best attack there. Oh, okay, this looks like the same odds. Alright, we'll go for it. If we don't get across this river, we're not going to be in luck. So, this guy may have enough movement that we can use the, the bridge 
even more effect, so I kind of hate doing this, but I feel like it's the only option. And unfortunately, he's not able to move in there. That was a gamble that didn't pay off. I still feel like we have to take the ground, though. Otherwise, we're just letting the enemy reinforce here. Maybe I should have used a plane there. But we may want to use that in other places. Where are their supplies? Oh, clear back there. It's actually interesting. Because, from what I understand of things, then, if we cut off this rail line, either of these rail lines, then that's going to really hurt their supply. Okay. Go for it. And I'm going to save that uh, that last bridge for probably this river, because this is really problematic otherwise. For my forces that are up in the north. But this guy can't cross back over the bridge. I'm thinking about pinning him in. And that way the enemy is a lot le uh, less likely to be able to cut this guy off from supply. Which uh, I think is good. I don't really know what the enemy supply situation is like as far as the numbers, but I would imagine if we cut off all this rail here, it would it'd do pretty well for us. Well, I'll advance how I can with this infantry up here, because I think this is more of a set move. Yeah, we could cut the rail line a little further up here. Wouldn't be able to capture the town, although I don't know if that really matters. I'm a little afraid, though, we'd be out of supply, because we're not actually connecting these rail lines ourselves to anything. Unless I misunderstand. We don't have supply coming from this rail line. We're still in supply according to that, though. All right. I'm just going to wipe this guy out for the sake of argument, even though he probably would die to being out of supply anyway. Okay. So we made our ground in the north. I'm kind of uh, not happy with the way that that attack across the river happened. I almost wonder. Now, see, that should be fine. I'm kind of surprised we can't move in there, but the train must be such that that's just the way it works. Okay. Well, we moved up in there. I think that was pretty important. Move down there with this guy. We'll kill this tank and finish him off. And then follow suit. We still have this attack to do. Which I haven't done because I, I don't like the odds right at the second, but... I, I think this one's going to be tough to get within the, the third turn here. Alright, well, I, I don't know if I have much choice here. What is your attack? It's only two. We do actually have a pretty good chance against these tanks here. So my infantry can take these guys out. Alright. And then I'll be able to put the, the Panzer in. Where it more matters. I'm thinking about just moving this infantry here. Yeah, I get caught by the zone of control, but that would happen anyway. Ah, 
I really wanted that guy to die. Well, he's weak and he, he's not really exerting his own control anymore, so that's fine. Okay, so that guy get, can't get there, but this guy can. So that's as far as I can move anyway, so I figure why not move up here and hit this tank and kill it. So that's taken care of. Ah, you can't get in there. Damn. I mean, we could move infantry in there, but they just wouldn't be able to attack. They'd get us progressing, which would be nice. Now, this is because we're attacking across a river, which we clearly don't want to do. Now, here, if I have to, uh, what I can do... As a matter of fact, I'm tempted to use my plane here. Help me break through these guys a little bit. There we go. That should really help. There we go. That might kill him outright. Okay, we got the overrun, which is fantastic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the second attack here. I could move here and work on the... on this guy and probably kill him as well. But I really think we should work to get through this. And I may be able to break this guy as he has a high chance of retreating. Yeah, see, now we're not worrying about his zone of control as much. Um, okay. So this is going to be the limits of this guy's movement anyway. We'll try and break this guy. And then our Panzer can move in and help here. Uh, not great, but hopefully we get the retreat. Yeah, there we go. This will uh, kill my momentum, but this is a good attacking point because if I get any overruns, we can uh, capitalize on it. Um, okay, we wouldn't deal as many casualties as I'd like. But I still think it's the right call. Okay, we got him to retreat as well. Ah. No, we can't get in there. Hmm. Okay. You can get into some spots. There you go. That's what we want. That's probably a pretty max move there. Okay, we've gained the river. I think we hit here. Oh, that was a good call. You just murdered that guy. Now, the problem I have is, is like, following up. It's not going to be very strong. As a matter of fact, I could move this tank, like, here. Um, but it... I don't know if it would help too much. I think it is really our best option, though. Because we get stopped here, we get stopped here. It, it's kind of more or less the same difference, so... We could push this guy here. But before we do that, let's start moving this infantry in spots where we can push with it. So, move this guy up and hit the tank. Okay, we didn't get him to retreat, which I would have preferred, but... To start, move this guy down. Alright, we're not doing a bad job here, and I think I'm learning some things... But maybe I wasn't doing right before. Um, this guy we don't really have attack with yet. We could kill this guy just to get him done with. Yeah. I don't want to really use any more prestige. I feel like I wasted the prestige I spent. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and move this way. Because this is going to be our main breakthrough area anyway. Alright, the north went alright. 
Uh, it could have maybe gone a little better here and there, but uh, pretty happy with that. Now let's do the south here, where I think things are a little bit more important. So I'm going to go ahead. Do I help this push or do I ensure this push works? Well, let's do these guys. And have them start moving. Now look at the supply situation as I do it. So yeah, we'd be like super out of supply here. So maybe not the best solution, but it might be the right call just to, you know, get moving where we need to get moving. I mean, the enemy's going to be limited here across the river just as I am going to be. So they're not going to have, they're going to have a hard time reinforcing here. And we can cut this rail line, which I think is pretty important. As that will put all these guys in trouble, I think, on supply. Because uh, we've severed the rail line all the way up here. So all this is cut. We just sail separated the rail line here. So their nearest spot they're getting supply from is here. If we can continue to, as a matter of fact, we can move up. If we can continue to eat this supply line, I think we're doing a good job. And maybe that's something I should focus on more in the future. Okay, so in this case, I think it's pretty important we kill this guy in the city. We failed. Uh, we get another attack of opportunity on him, though, so we'll take that. We've got an overrun, which I will use to kill this guy. I have to be careful with that, though. Um, because... If I re uh, get him to retreat, he might retreat in the wrong direction for us. He actually may cut off our supply line. Which would be extraordinarily bad. Okay, we took that. Go ahead and hit him with this infantry. Okay, so now it's a little less likely he'll be able to, to retreat away from us. Let's go ahead and hit him to finish him. Okay, we got another overrun. In theory, I could keep attacking, but I do have to consider how much I've been suppressed. I think we just move up here and try and expand our supply lines a little bit. As much as possible, anyway. And this guy's going to move up to the bridge. Okay. This guy... I mean, again, this, this is not one of our primary objectives, but uh, I was going to say it does get us moving. This is one of our objectives. I am going to work towards that. I, we have enough panzers in this area. We may be able to pull it off. So I'm going to go for it, and we'll support it with this infantry as well. These guys are all going to be out of supply. As a matter of fact, this guy started in, out of supply, so uh, that's just going to be further penalty to us. We can just get onto the bridge. This is going to be a tough nut to crack, I think. Especially he's dug in. I almost wonder if I should just ignore him. And we can push the supply lines maybe out a little bit. Move this guy up here. We've got a good move here, so it is likely we'll get that by turn three. Move the this guy along with the rest of our push. Guys like this are just gonna help me with Kind of pushing out a little bit may help my supply lines. Like, for example, we just captured all that nonsense. Capture that bit. Which may actually help our supply lines. Now, see, we're all in supply. It was all that red mess. 
in the south that was causing it to be in, uh, in supply issues. So now we're all right, because we managed to push the lines a little bit. Now we'll move up to there. I still have that one unit to move. I haven't forgotten about it. We also have an attack here that I haven't done anything with. I mean, we're going to just take a bunch of casualties if I try and do that. This is just a security unit after all. Uh, I could get him off the front line, though, which we may do. So where are our bridges here? A whole lot of nothing. Uh, we could still cross the river, though, and I think I'm going to take that action. With a bunch of these guys. If they're not near our bridge, we'll do that. I guess I'll have you go this way. All right, well, that's our, our push in the south. So let's go ahead and drop this guy down on the map. That's still the only spot we can deploy him. I guess that's not too surprising. Um, we'll put him here. And then go ahead and move the security up this way. We may get hit there, but that's all right. And then we can move this guy in that place and I guess kill this tank if we want to. He's encircled, so it really doesn't matter. If, if the casualties look bad, yeah, I'm not going to take that attack. The tank will just be cut off from supply and, and eat suppression. So, as a matter of fact, a lot of these units may be cut off some, from supply now. And I think I'm, you know, I'm starting to get the keys of this game. Cut off supplies, kill uh, tr uh, train lines. That will hurt the supply line of the enemy, which in turn will help our 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 drives and also push drives more aggressively. I think that's a lot of the idea behind this game. Okay, so what do we need to do that I haven't done? Uh, just to look around. I think I've done everything. We didn't build a bridge, but. We may need that. Honestly, I don't know where we'd put it. I mean, maybe one here, because this is a pretty troublesome uh, river without any bridges. But we're going to be pushing a lot of these guys up this way. Because that's our next... These two points are our next ones on the list after we capture this and this. All right, let's end the turn. Ah, they're buying tanks. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. They're driving pretty hard with tanks up there. Well, as I've done in the past, the AI isn't coming up to meet me. These guys are just backing off. Probably because they are out of supply, which I do see. They all have the red exclamation point. Oh, you cross the river. Interesting. All right. So now that these guys are out of supply, uh, they'll be a little e bit easier to deal with. We have multiple uh, people, at least two, that it can attack here this turn. The tank will be able to do so as well if it moves here. I really think we should focus on the center here first. Because if we do that... We ensure the supply lines for a lot of our other advances because it wouldn't be too hard to capture the rest of this rail line giving us supply over here and uh this rail line's not as important but it still would be maybe nice to capture it so that's what we're going to attempt anyway all right well let's take a look at our train and what we can do here so we do have the the, the bridge to cross the river here so that is what we could do if we want to drive over this way I'm not sure how much I care about this push that the enemy is attempting to do. We could back off and still probably hit a lot of these objectives without having to worry too much about that. So um, let's focus more on what's going on down here. 
So what we need to do is we need to break this particular infantry. And if we break this infantry, we will be free to move around these, these guys fairly easily. It's really just this guy and this guy that's stopping a lot of our units. I mean, technically these guys too, but this would be the main one. So let's hit this guy. Well, again, I, I got distracted there. I should be focusing on the center. Okay, so what is our attack like here? It's still not 100% great. Um, what about our attack from the air? It's probably a pretty bad odd because he's entrenched. I still think we should do it. Because it does have, well, possibility of doing something fantastic like that. But it also had the possibility of knocking out his entrenchment bonus. So right now, I can just straight up kill him. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So that guy's been weakened. We can now move infantry into that uh, objective. I'm just trying to see, again, minimum moves here. Or maximum move, I guess it would be. So we can get in here with this infantry. And then I'll go ahead and hit this guy now. We should kill him. This guy's fully suppressed and cut off. This guy's cut off. Um, I'm not going to worry as much about the units that are super cut off here. But this infantry is kind of standing in the way of our forward progress, so we'll just murder him. Although I say that, that's the best use of my tank because I might be able to come in and help out over here. I don't think it is. So, zone of control should not extend across the river. So, this, yeah, this guy is not exerting zone of control. Um, we'll go ahead and hit here first. As there is a pretty decent chance of retreating him. And he should be weakened anyway, even if he doesn't retreat. So that's our main point of what we're doing there. Uh, this is more or less a max move for this tank. So I think it's a pretty good idea, as we'll be able to hurt this infantry, which is another obstacle in our way. And again, we're, we're full moving here. Okay, destroyed and overrun. So we should be able to use that overrun point. Oh, that's not true. Uh, we did get the locked in by the uh, zone of control. So that's unfortunate. Okay, the other thing I need to consider is capturing the rail line. So I will do so as much as possible. Probably the cavalry here is going to be the other one that captures the rail line for me. Okay, so we've just linked everybody up. Now we've got fantastic supply. Um, I'll go ahead and hit here. This is good odds. Fortunately, we didn't weaken him. I guess cavalry is uh, used to having low numbers. We could still move past him, though, if we're able to weaken this guy here. At least this, this panzer will be able to. I, I don't know about others. We have a fairly realistic chance of capturing this now. I just have to plan out the moves very carefully. Okay, so we're having a hard time moving to this spot. So we may want to move this guy up. Hit here. Because I want my panzers to have uh, free reign here. More or less. As much as they can get it. This might be a good move for this guy. Move up here, kill the cavalry. That will allow this unit to move freely. To do what I want to do. Kind of. You'd still have this guy to worry about, but... Boom, you're dead. We still have a movement point, which I may use. I'll hold for that for now. So we can't quite get there, and it's probably this guy that's obstructing us. So if we could go along the rail line, we'd be a lot better off. And if I were to get this one guy weakened, that frees three of my panzers to move on this city. So let's see if we can pull that off. Okay, he retreated. He may still be in the way, but he doesn't have a zone of control anymore, so that's pretty important. Okay. Let's see about what our Panzer can do now. Okay, that guy can get there. But what I want, obviously, is to have more tanks that can get there. And I also don't want to have Zone of Control stop me, if at all possible, for the so that I can capture this turn. 
All right, well, you know what? I think this is a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.